Hello everybody, uh, Happy New Year. I wish you all a very successful 2014. Uh, we're here in Strasbourg for our first session of 2014. 2014 is going to be a great uh, year for us because we've got our elections on May the 22nd, which I need to remind everybody of. Thank you to all of you who have been helping um, already with the preparations for those and I look forward to meeting so many of you uh, during the next few months while I'm travelling around the region um, working towards that election. But meanwhile life goes on here in Strasbourg. A um, couple of really uh, interesting things to report. I'm delighted that today we've had the announcement that the West Country Beef and Lamb has been awarded special status uh, protected status under European legislation basically means that nobody else can call their beef or their lamb uh, West Country. Uh, you might think that that's not such a big deal, but in these days of um, the horse meat scandal particularly, where people were even calling horse meat beef, I think it's really important that we have these strict um, protective statuses. And what's so special about West Country lamb and beef? Well, of course, those of us who live there, we know because we eat it. Um, uh, but what is special is the way in which it's reared. And this particular designation requires that all of the beef and lamb would be fed on at least 70% grass and, and grass fodder. So that's really important to the taste. And I think as people become more discerning, I know a lot of people tell me they eat slightly less meat, but they want to eat better quality and we in the in the West Country are really well placed to be able to provide that market. So congratulations to all of those farmers, to everyone at the NFU and others who did loads of work on this. Uh, I've been supporting it now since the application was made some time ago and um, I'm really pleased that that's come, come to pass. The other interesting thing I'm doing here um, at Plenary uh, this week is I have a report going through of which I'm the author, which is on honey. Now, some people probably think that uh, all we should be doing as MEPs is talking about the economic crisis, but you know, there are other, other important things going on. And a small report like honey, which doesn't seem terribly important, really is, because what this is, is a reaction to a European Court of Justice ruling that pollen is a con an ingredient of honey and not a constituent. Honey has a unique status, I mean, apart from the fact that uh, it, it's made by bees and uh, it's good and it's healthy, I think it's really thought of by people as being a natural product. No adulteration, no addition by man. And if we were to allow the European Court of Justice ruling that suggests that pollen, if it's found in honey, is an ingredient, we would then leave honey open to all kinds of additives and adulteration. It's really important that we keep the status of honey as a single ingredient product clear. And why is it so important? Apart from the obvious that I've just mentioned, it's being um, hijacked, this report, by the left and the greens to make a point about genetically modified crops because what they're saying is that if there is any GM pollen appearing in honey then it must be picked out and we would then have to label the product. Now as you know there's very little GM grown in Europe, very very little grown um, anywhere and in the UK hardly any at all. So the likelihood of there being GM pollen in your honey is very low but, it, but, it, but there is a possibility and to require all beekeepers to test every batch of honey just in case there would be a bit of GM pollen would add, uh, the Parliament estimates, 94 euros per batch. Now if you're a big company that may not be much of a problem but for all of the smaller beekeepers that I meet around the West Country who are selling their products to friends, neighbours, at the roadside, in WI or in local markets, that would be a disaster. So I'm working very, very hard to make sure that that doesn't happen and we have the vote in fact later today, so I hope that that will be successful. Just one of the small things that your MEPs do and you probably are not aware of, but it's a very important one I think. 
So um, we are now in the beginning of the Greek presidency. I've yet to meet with them myself, but I will be doing tomorrow with the uh, Greek presidency members who work on the sort of areas I work on. So in my next blog, I hope to be able to update you on how the Greeks are doing with the presidency of the EU. Meanwhile, have a very happy January. I hope the weather is kind. Um, we are going to be making an application for funds from the Solidarity Fund, I hope, uh, to help us here in the southwest with our flooding. But me, and I'll update you on that next time. But have a good January. Speak to you in February.